What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Decoding with Cody, and we're here tonight coming once again from Turkey. Hopefully the stream is going to not cut in and out like it did yesterday. And yeah, so let's just wait for a few people to join. I hope everyone is well today. Of course, after yesterday's big, big uh, ritual, we have a lot to talk about. And uh, a lot of people have been ta talking about a lot of different things. So in this video, I'm not going to get too complicated. I'm just going to narrow it down to the very simplest numbers, right? And a lot of you guys probably already know this, right? So let's just start out by thanking everyone. OK, so first of all, guys, I don't know if you saw my last video. It, it got 16K views, guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to whoever shared my video, whoever came into the channel, whoever just subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful you're here. I'm so grateful to have this, I mean, opportunity. Um, and I never thought I'd get 16K views on a video. OK. And not to mention like a thousand subs in the last day. So I, I'm I'm blown away by the how how well the video I did. I, I want to give a big shout out to Donut, Donut Factory on YouTube. I'm pretty sure he shared the video. I'm pretty sure a couple people on Twitter shared the video. And my post on Twitter got a hundred and fifty something thousand views. So I'm feeling very blessed. God has blessed me um, with a huge opportunity to reach more people to just to just share my info with them. So I'm I'm blown away. OK, yeah, it was Donut. I'm pretty sure. So any of you guys coming over from Donut's channel, much love to you. God bless you all. Thank you all for for coming. And again, much love to Donut. I'm pretty sure he was a big part of that. And um yeah, I'm so grateful. So, yeah, I, I'm still speechless about it, guys. I woke up this morning with 13,000 views on my video, and I was like, whoa. I mean, I have never gotten more than 4,000, so it was just crazy. So how are you guys doing tonight? Sandra Thomas, how you doing? Gene Spliced, John Montoya, John316, hello to you all. Visionary Vet, how you doing? I Boggs, how you doing? Or L Boggs. JJ Recon. Hey Shy, how you doing? So yeah, I hope you guys are all well today. And uh, we're going to jump right into the info because there's a lot of new people here. And um, yeah, we're going to we're going to go right into it. So with that being said, you guys know what happened yesterday. I don't even need to go into detail. We had the bridge collapse, okay? It was in Baltimore. Baltimore is associated with blackouts. Why? Because the, the Ravens, the football team for the Baltimore, for Baltimore was in a Super Bowl, which featured a power outage. Do not forget that Baltimore is the one city, or there was two cities involved in a Super Bowl where there was a power outage, at the Super Bowl. This Super Bowl was between Baltimore and San Francisco. Baltimore's bridge just fell yesterday, and San Francisco is known for a bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. This was the key, and then we had the gate. So the two teams that were in the Blackout Bowl in 2013 have the key bridge and the gate bridge. Okay, do you guys understand? The key is opening the gates, right? So I really want to, to point that out. Absolutely. And again, we cannot overlook the blackout bowl in 2013. Why was the ship that hit the, the bridge yesterday? Why was it losing power? Okay. Do you guys understand that this is really all about the blackout? They've been giving us predictive programming for this for many years. And we're going to cover it here, okay? So let's start by this. We got the ship, okay, that hits the bridge. 
we had the 1977 blackout. Okay, this is a huge blackout in 1977. This bridge that went down yesterday opened in 1977, the same year of this blackout. I've talked about this in prior decodes. Okay, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys may not understand some of what I'm talking about, but if you guys are veterans of the channel, you're going to understand a lot of this. Okay. We had Leave the World Behind, which was released on 12 slash 8. We're going to get to that in a minute. And I'm going to talk about this girl who came out onto the tennis court in 2022 and said, We have 10,000 or 1028 days left. Okay. So let, let's bring all this together. Okay. First of all, if you guys have never seen my blackout videos, okay, if you guys have never seen my past blackout videos, this video is from nine months ago. This video is from nine months ago. In this video, I talked about this girl and I talked about the Eagles and the Ravens, okay? Remember, the Eagles posted a video that said the blackout is commencing, okay? And again, I'm going to connect this to Philadelphia and Baltimore, and we're going to connect this to the blackout, right? So I want the reason I put these two pictures here for you guys is because I want you guys to see that nine months ago, I was talking about the very same things I'm going to be talking about now. And I was talking about the day, March 26, 2025. Okay. And what happened yesterday on March 26, 2024, exactly a year before. Okay. So let's, let's, let's look. So I want to bring all these things together, though. I, I want to remind you guys about these 1028 numbers. Remember, Matthew Perry, he blacked out and he, he passed away supposedly on 1028, right? 1028 is another 128, right? The North Tower of on 9-11 fell at 1028, okay? Bill Gates was born on 1028. Yesterday was Nancy Pelosi's birthday, her husband, Paul Pelosi, was attacked in 2022 on October 28th. And this girl, again, was a protester who ran on the tennis court and said, we have 1028 days left. Okay. And this over here is a screenshot of WWE's pitch black match about a blackout. And it was aired on January 28th which is another 128 code. So all these things are connected to the 128 code, okay? Because in numerology, if you drop a zero, it's the one, two, and eight, okay? So how is this connected, okay? So in my videos back nine months ago, I was talking about how I had found a connection between this girl's appearance and the date March 26, 2025, okay? I measured nine months ago, I measured from the day the girl ran on the court with the 1028 days, I measured 1028 days later, and I landed on March 26, 2025. And I made a, a few videos about this date, March 26, 2025. And yesterday was exactly a year before this, and I was looking to see if there was going to be blackout connections exactly a year before this date. And guess what we got, guys? We got literally the biggest ritual of the year so far. And it's exactly a year before the date I've already talked about nine months ago, okay? March 26, 2025, I'm telling you, this is the date that they gave us. Because again, if you measure from this girl's appearance, 10, 28 days later, you land on next year, a year from now. Now, the bridge yesterday collapsed at 128 Eastern time, okay? 128 Eastern time is 1028 Pacific time. Do you guys see how perfect this is? 1028, like the, the number on this girl's shirt, 1028 days from her shirt leads you to March 26, 2025. And exactly a year before that, the key bridge collapses at 1028 Pacific time, which would be where the Golden Gate Bridge is located. The Golden Gate Bridge is located in San Francisco, which is in Pacific time, that means the key bridge in Baltimore collapsed at 1028 Pacific time, okay? So I want you guys to see, again, if you guys need to go back and watch my videos nine months ago. I just showed you those two slides back. These videos, go watch this video. 
Okay. And I was talking about March 26th right here. Okay. Except for I was talking about next year, but we got a huge ritual this year connected to what I believe might come next year. All right. We, I think we have a year possibly, maybe we don't even have that, but I'm just saying, okay. Now let's go back to 1977. 1977 was when the, the bridge that collapsed yesterday, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, that was when this bridge opened, March 23rd, 1977. This was 112 days before the New York City blackout, a huge blackout in New York City in 1977. 112 is very interesting because the phrase lights out in Gematria equals 112. So I'm not saying that's 100% a good connection, but very interesting that these two things happened in the same year 112 days apart. This 112 number has been a huge number. I'm not going to get into it here, but I just wanted to point this out because its I don't believe it's a coincidence that this happened in the same year, the bridge and the blackout, okay? Now, let's get into the 1028s, the 128s. You can, most of you guys already know this. The bridge collapsed at 128, okay? It collapsed in Maryland, which equals 128. The word bridge collapse equals 128 in Gematria. And they were calling it a mass casualty incident. And the phrase in Gematria, mass casualty incident in reverse reduction equals 128. So again, guys, what are the chances of that? That the bridge collapse, the state that it happens in, and then they kept calling it a mass casualty incident, which equals 128. Okay. And again, here's the time, 128. And do not forget, this was the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And this Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed 128 days before Francis Scott Key's birthday on August 1st this year. Okay. So again, most of you guys have already seen this. Most people have already covered it. But again, it's important to reiterate all of this. Okay. Now, is Donut in the house? I didn't see him, but oh, I did. I see him now. What's up, Donut? Thank you so much for your uh, support, bro. I really appreciate you. So, and um, also saw that uh, Joseph was in the chat. So much love to you, also, brother. All right. So again, Biden's birthday was. So I just want to go over this. This is all connected to Biden and his infrastructure bill, right? Because again, Biden was in Pennsylvania, where he's from. He's from Pennsylvania. He was in Pennsylvania on January 28th, 2022, which again is the 128 code. And he was talking about an infrastructure bill, okay, on January 28th, 2022. That same day, a bridge called the Fern Hollow Bridge collapsed on 128, and the name of the bridge is Fern Hollow, which equals 128. Now, from the collapse of this Fern Hollow Bridge to the collapse of the um, to the Key Bridge is exactly two years, one month, and 28 days. So again, ask yourselves, guys, how is that possible? On 128, Biden is talking about infrastructure. The same day a bridge collapses, the Gematria equals 128. And then two years, one month, and 28 days later, another bridge collapses on Biden's 128th day of his age, okay? So from Biden's last birthday to yesterday was 128 days. And again, bridge collapse equals 128, okay? Perfectly synced up with Biden, his infrastructure bill, okay? Now, we got somebody being naughty in the chat, do we? I grind buds. Why is he being naughty in the chat? What do you say? <laughs> I was just talking to him the other day. But anyways, again, guys, here's the next big thing. Again, from the do not forget that the ship that hit the bridge yesterday was called the Dolly. OK, and the Dolly is named after Salvador Dolly. Right. Most of you guys know this by now. OK. But it was named after Salvador Dali, and Salvador Dali drew a artwork called 
the broken bridge and the dream. Okay. So what are the chances that the ship that knocks, that breaks the bridge was named after a guy who wrote, who drew a artwork that's called the broken bridge and the dream. And it just happens to equal 128 in Gematria. And again, the bridge collapsed at 128. Again, I just showed you all the other 128s in the last slide connected to Biden, his infrastructure bill. And before that, I talked about how it's tied to Francis Scott Key, right? They kept calling, they kept calling it a mass casualty incident. And why were they using that phrase, guys? Because it equals 128, mass casualty incident, okay? <laughs> and um, so again, this is a huge find. This is not my find originally. A lot of people were spreading this around yesterday. I don't know who originally found this, but yeah, I can't take credit for these add to, to me being the original finds of this, all this, because again, so much information was being spread around. So much love to all the decoders out there, all the truth seekers. They're all contributing to this info. Okay. Not just me. Now, the last game of the Baltimore Ravens this year was on January 28th, one, two, eight. Again, Baltimore in Maryland, Maryland equals 128. Okay. I just showed you all the 128s, the 128 code. What are the chances that the Baltimore Ravens team, their last game was on January 28th and they lost to the Chiefs who ended up winning the Super Bowl, right? Exactly a year before this game on January 28th, all right. Um, well, actually, I'm sorry. This was the same day, I think. Yeah, we, you got to go back to last year, I guess. This was in 2023. So I don't know why this came up as 2024. So in 2023, there was a Baltimore Ravens. They lost on 128 to the Chiefs, right? And Baltimore... The same day, there was a pitch black match in WWE. If you guys don't know, World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, had a match called the pitch black match named after the Mountain Dew pitch black. Okay, Remember, we had the Mountain Dew Maui burst, and now we have the Mountain Dew pitch black. And what are the chances that the pitch black match happened on 128, the same day that Baltimore, the blackout city, Again, Baltimore is the only NFL team besides San Francisco that was part of a Super Bowl that had a blackout. So the Ravens are completely connected to blackouts, and they had a game the same day as a pitch black match. And again, this guy, Bray Wyatt, right here, he would end up dying on Kobe Bryant's birthday or one on Kobe Bryant Day. Okay, This guy died last year, and he was in the pitch black match, guys. This guy is named... L.A. Knight, and we've had a lot of symbolism for an L.A. blackout. His name is L.A. Knight, guys, this 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 wrestling character, okay? Do you guys get the symbolism? L.A. Knight, as in a dark L.A., right? He's still alive, though. Bray Wyatt ended up dying, okay? L.A. Knight used to be called Little Trump, just, just for an extra add-on here. L.A. Knight used to be known in his early days as Son of Trump, Okay, so that's another interesting connection with this guy. I'm not going to get into that here, though. But I just wanted to point out the 128. So here it is, guys. The Ravens were part of the Blackout Bowl. Here it is. In New Orleans, Super Bowl 47 on February 3rd, 2013, the Ravens and the 49ers, the brothers faced each other, and the Ravens won. But during the game... There was a power outage. That's what they called it, the blackout bowl. Okay? And if you go from the blackout bowl with the Ravens to the Baltimore Raven, to where Baltimore plays in Baltimore to the bridge collapse, it was exactly 4,070 days. And why is that interesting, guys? Because 4,070, if you remove zeros in numerology, it's 47. So this is a measure from Super Bowl 47 blackout to the ship hitting the bridge, right, in Baltimore. And again, Baltimore won this game during a blackout, right? And here's the lights going out.
the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Where is the next Super Bowl at, guys? Where is Super Bowl 59 going to be taking place? It's going to be taking place in New Orleans. Where was the Blackout Bowl, guys, in 2013? It was in New Orleans, okay? So another huge connection to the coming year is that the Blackout Super Bowl is going to be in the same city or next year's Super Bowl is going to be in the same city as the Blackout Super Bowl, okay? That's why I believe they're setting it up for some sort of possible repeat, right? But this time on a bigger scale, okay? And let's bring in the other movie that talked about a Blackout, okay? Yeah, I should have mentioned that, Joseph. Uh, to go along with the 47s here, I, I didn't have time to put all this in here, but to go along with the 47s, right? Maryland equals 47. That's where Baltimore is. Um, Francis, it was the Francis Bridge, right? The Francis Scott Bridge. That Francis equals 47, okay? So again, we had a lot of 47 connections with yesterday, but I'm trying to stay on the one number for this decode, which you know is the 128 code. So again, we had the leave the world behind, and this was about a blackout, all right? And again, the ship that hits the shore, just like the ship that hits the bridge, the, the name of the ship in the movie was called the White Lion. And the White Lion equals 128, like power grid. And this whole movie was about the power grid going down, and the movie starts off with the ship hitting the shore. So do you guys understand? Yesterday we had the ship hitting the bridge, and now we have a real-life ship, right? So it, it's insane how closely tied to this movie it was, right? And again, there's not a coincidence that they called it the White Lion. Again, the ship that hit the bridge yesterday was based out of um, Singapore, and Singapore is connected. Shout out to Donut for this last night in his live stream. Singapore has the white lion symbol, okay? What are the chances that the ship that hit the bridge yesterday has the white lion, Singapore, and in the movie, the white lion is is the ship, right? So it's completely, perfectly scripted to go along with the movie, okay? And don't forget um, that Obama, who made this movie, he is a Leo, like Leo the lion, don't forget Francis Scott Key, the guy, the bridge that fell yesterday was named after him. He was a Leo. He's born August 1st. So he was a lion, right? Obama is a lion and Francis Scott Key is a Leo the lion, right? So we have this lion symbolism. And yeah, so look out for possibly more. I mean, again, anytime you get into the Leo um, astrology sign, there's a lot of stuff that can go down. So just watch out for that. But here's the big part, guys. Remember, in this movie, Leave the World Behind, the main character, the black man who shows up at the door of the white people. Do you guys get it? The black up, the black shows up at the white's door and wants to come in. And again, that's the blackout coming, right? So the black guy in the movie is named G.H. Scott, as you guys can see right here. Okay. The mayor of Baltimore is Brandon Scott. And remember... It was the Francis Scott Key Bridge that Brandon Scott is, and he's the mayor of Baltimore. And yesterday, his bridge with the name Scott in it fell, okay? And again, Leave the World Behind came out on 12-8. And you can see that the mayor of Baltimore, Brandon Scott, assumed office on 12-8. So we have another 12-8 code, okay? 128 code, both with the mayor of Baltimore and with the movie Leave the World Behind. Because again, Leave the World Behind, as you guys can see on the poster, released December 8th. This was the same day the Baltimore mayor took over, okay? And again, a lot of you guys have already seen this, but I need to reiterate this, connecting it to my prediction last nine months ago. I was talking about the date, March 26th, 2025, and then exactly a year before this, we get a ritual connected to a blackout, okay? Now, I really want to point out this 267 connection. I know we're going to get off the 128 for a second, but we need to talk about Philadelphia. Baltimore and Philadelphia are very tied together. Let's go look at this. So read what 
read right here and, and just know that Baltimore and Philadelphia have an interesting history, okay? I'll just read this right here. In the mid-18th century, the first printing press and newspapers were introduced in Baltimore by Nicholas Hasselback and William Goddard. During the American Revolutionary War, the Second Continental Congress, fleeing Philadelphia prior to the city's fall to the British troops, moved their deliberations to Henry Fright House, Fight House on West Baltimore Street on December 20th, 1776 to February 27th, 1777, permitting Baltimore to serve briefly as the nation's capital. Okay, so you guys get this? During the, the War of Independence, right, the nation's capital was moved from, Bal from Philadelphia to Baltimore, okay? And they, Interstate 95 runs through Baltimore and Philadelphia, okay? So, Independence Hall. So, here it is right here. The nation's capital before the capital returned. So, it moved from Philadelphia to Baltimore and then back to Philadelphia, okay? And again, here it talks about Francis Scott Key. Okay? This is in the Baltimore Wikipedia page. If you go to just search Baltimore on Wikipedia... And this is what you're going to read. It ties it to Philadelphia. And notice they're already posting articles about this. Look at this article from 19 hours ago. Baltimore Key Bridge Collapse Could Impact a Philly Port. So, again, they're already connecting Baltimore and Philadelphia. I'm just wondering if that's going to be the Super Bowl this year, guys. Baltimore versus Philadelphia. So, definitely something to think about the Super Bowl. I'm not saying that's going to happen 100%, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th thank you for reminding me. The word Independence Day equals 128. I forgot to add that here. But yeah, Independence Day equals 128. And we're talking about independence, right? The United States and its independence, okay? And look at this one right here. It says Philadelphia and Baltimore battle over the Edgar Allan Poe. So even Baltimore and Philadelphia are fighting over who owns Edgar Allan Poe. Remember, Edgar Allan Poe is the, the author of The Raven, where the Ravens get their name from. And The Raven is connected to Nevermore. Actually, I got I to gotta go back, guys. The Ravens are named after Edgar Allan Poe's ra poem, The Raven. Okay, And remember, this is all about the 128 code. The most famous word in the poem by Edgar Allan Poe is The Raven. The raven continues to repeat the phrase, nevermore, okay? This is in the poem, The Raven, okay? Let me, let me just bring this up. And this all ties to, you know, the blackbird. And, and just notice that this, this poem was originally released on January 29th, which is actually one day after the 128 code. That's interesting, right? But anyway, in this poem, The Raven, if you if you just search images, one of the most famous lines in the poem is nevermore, okay? So you look at this, nevermore. And that's where the Adams family gets their nevermore academy. Do you remember how the show Wednesday was trending? You remember that show Wednesday from like a year ago? That was all connected to Edgar Allan Poe and the Raven. Okay, nevermore. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. And what are the chances that the word nevermore also equals 128? And again, the bridge in Baltimore collapsed on 128. Okay. So I just needed to add that. Also, yeah, let's talk about Independence Day because the phrase Independence Day equals 128, okay? And this is all about America and its independence, 128, okay? And just notice that Independence Day equals 74 in reduction. And when do we celebrate Independence Day, guys? On 7-4. But the 128 code is also present, right? And again, Philadelphia and Baltimore served as the capital, as I showed you back here, okay? Philadelphia and Baltimore served as the nation's capital, okay, in the early days. So let's get back on track here.
And this all connects to the Star Spangled Banner, the Civil War. Okay, they they have the Civil War movie coming out on April twelfth, on the anniversary of the Civil War. Remember, Ryan Garcia said that he would get killed on April twelfth. So it's interesting why they're all pointing to April twelfth. We got to watch out for that day. Okay. Um. Yeah. So back to this. So yesterday had a huge Philadelphia connection, guys, and I, I got to point this out. Remember, the Philadelphia area code is 267. Yesterday, the ship knocked out the bridge 267 days after the nation's birthday. And remember, the nation was based out of Philadelphia. The Philadelphia area code is 267. And exactly 267 days after July 4th, yesterday, on the 267 day of the nation's age, the bridge collapses. So again, what are they telling us? If the bridge collapses on the 267 day, and again, one day before the eclipse coming up on April 8th, okay, is the WrestleMania in Philadelphia. They have the Liberty Bell with the crack through it, the 267 area code. The eclipse is the next day, and the eclipse happens on 267 days left in the year. April 8th leaves 267 days left in the year, and I have 267 in the chat. That's so funny. So crazy I have 267 in the chat. But, yeah. And Joseph is saying in the chat that yesterday was 267 days before the Pope's birthday. Yeah, we have to talk about the Pope here. I don't have any slides on this. But, again, yesterday, let's go back. Let's go to yesterday's. Actually, let's go to the Pope's birthday this year. To yesterday's bridge collapse on 326. So yesterday was 267 days before the Pope's birthday, right? And again, I just showed you that yesterday was also 267 days after the nation of the United States' birthday. So United States, 267 days forward, you get the bridge collapse. And then 267 days after, you get the Pope's birthday. Guys, go look at the Vatican's symbol. This has to be brought up. I've talked about this in my decode about WrestleMania, as a matter of fact. If you guys are new to the channel, which a lot of you guys probably are, go back and watch my time decode, right? Let me, let me just pull up the Vatican flag here. And the symbolism has to be gotten here, guys. It has to be understood because the Vatican flag tells us the whole story, okay? What is this on the Vatican flag? And what is the name of the Pope? What does it mean? Okay? A lot of people have been pointing this out. Yeah, thank you, Joseph, for all the 47s. Right. But anyway, the Vatican has the key, guys. Yesterday, it was the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Okay. Remember, the bridge collapsed 13 days before the eclipse. Okay. The key bridge, right? The key bridge collapsed 13 days before the great American eclipse. And the word key equals 13. The Vatican has the keys. Okay. Peter, the rock, was given the keys to build Jesus' church. That's why Dwayne the Rock Johnson is going to be part of Philadelphia one day before the eclipse. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is going to be in Philadelphia one day before the great American eclipse for WrestleMania. Why? Because the Rock or Peter, Jupiter, was given the keys, right, to build the church, right? And again, Peter is the first pope, and now we have... Pope Francis, and the bridge that got knocked down is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, right? Do you get it? Francis has the keys, guys. The Pope is named Francis, and he's serving at the Vatican that has the key. <laughs> it's, it's too obvious, right? And Baltimore is a very Catholic city, right? This year on the Super Bowl, it was the Vatican's 
um, what was it? The Vatican's ninety uh, fifth birthday, right? Again, why was it the Vatican's ninety fifth birthday? Yes, on the Super Bowl this year, because again, the Vatican was founded in nineteen twenty nine. That was the year. It was founded on uh, two eleven, right? Which is the forty seventh prime. We've been talking about the forty seven, the masonry, the forty seven degrees. Government 47, President 47, Vatican 47. Let me just type it in. Vatican equals 47, right? The Vatican was founded on 211. 211 is the 47th prime number, okay? So 211, 1929 to the Super Bowl this year in uh, was on 211, the Vatican's birthday, right? So a lot of people were thinking, a lot of the Gematria people were thinking that Baltimore was going to go to the Super Bowl this year on 2-11, right? Because it was the 95th birthday of the Vatican. Why? Because Baltimore equals 95. You see this? Baltimore equals 95. And the Super Bowl was on the 95th birthday of the Vatican, and Baltimore is connected to the Catholic Church. Okay. But it was the Chiefs who made it, right? And again, that the Chiefs connects to the Chief Pope, which is Pope Francis. Okay. I already made a video about this. You guys have to go back and watch. You guys have to go back and watch my prior videos if you're new here. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Joseph. Um, Baltimore, Maryland equals 105, like Jorge Mario Bigoglio, right? So if you type in the Pope's full name, Jorge. Mario Bergoglio. Uh, hold on. I need to spell it right. Bergoglio. So Jorge Mario Bergoglio equals 105, right? And Baltimore, Maryland equals 105 in the same cipher. You see it, guys? So that's a good point about the 105s. Uh, the branch in the chat is saying I should type in the words July 4th. Okay, let's type in July 4th or July 4. Well, look at that, guys. July 4. <laughs> okay, well, here's a whole nother set of, of numbers to look at. I just told you guys that Independence Day equals 128, right? The bridge collapsed on 128. Independence Day equals 128, right? In the same cipher as July 4, right? And when is Independence Day? It's on July 4, right? So that's interesting. And this 88 is important here because 88 minutes is an hour and 28 minutes. So that means the bridge collapsed 88 minutes into the day, okay? And don't forget that the word Maryland, where this happened yesterday, equals 88 and 128. So let, let's look at the, the connection, guys. You have the 88. Let's just take out all the rest of this stuff. You have Maryland, where the bridge collapsed. It collapsed on at 128 a.m., 88 minutes into the day. It and It's connected to the nation and the, the, um, the Star Spangled Banner, which is all about independence. And July 4 is equals 128, like Independence Day. So again, great connection there. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, and this also connects to back to the future, 88 miles an hour. Trump, Trump might be the next president, right? Trump, 88 and 47, okay? So this, this is definitely connected to Trump. We're not going to leave him out of this. Um, actually, a lot of people haven't connected this to Trump yet, but I'm going to look more into that for sure. But anyway, let's get back to this. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapses, and Pope Francis is the Pope, and he his Vatican has the keys, right? So what are the chances of that? I told you that at WrestleMania, in my prior decodes, at WrestleMania, the Roman Empire or the Roman Catholic Church will be facing the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes, in Philadelphia. And I already made all the connections between Philadelphia, 
right? If you guys missed that, go back and watch it. Yeah, the Mar-a-Lago. You guys remember the Mar-a-Lago? It was rated on 8-8, eight, eight, like Trump equals 88, okay? Yeah, and, and so there, there's so much connections with Trump and the 88. Um, but anyway, I wanted to point out just mainly about the Vatican and its connection. Now, again, this, this 267 code is not to be forgotten, guys. Because again, the eclipse is going to be happening on the day leaving 267, and that's the Philadelphia area code. So watch out. I heard yesterday on Zach Hubbard's stream that there's a bridge in Philadelphia called the Betsy Ross Bridge, okay? And again, I'm not taking this. I'm giving credit to where I saw this from. But we got to remember who was the one who sold the, 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 sold the flag, right? And I got to bring this bridge up because this is in Philadelphia, okay? And if they're going to do some more attacks on bridges, which they may very well do, could the Betsy Ross Bridge be next, okay? This is in Philadelphia. I already showed you the connection between Philadelphia and Baltimore. Yeah, that's a good point, Matt, uh, Matt Tukan, uh, a good point. Um the eclipse is on April 8th, right? So, yeah, let's look into Philadelphia for a minute because Philadelphia equals – well, first of all, Philadelphia is the 65 city, okay? I got 267 in the chat again. So funny. Always always lined up perfectly with my subs. Anyways, do you notice that Philadelphia equals 223, right? And, of course, this is the reverse skull and bones, Okay. But 223 is a prime number because 223 is the 48th prime number. Okay, if it will load. Hold on a second. 223 is the 48th prime number. Okay. Why is that important? Because on April 8th this year, which is 48, in the 99 day of the year, which is tied to the United States. Remember, the United States got its name on 99. And the Philadelphia area code is 267. So on 4-8, it will be all about the United States and the Great American Eclipse and Philadelphia WrestleMania is happening one day before that, okay, on 4-7, okay? All about the 47. Oh, that's a good one, Joseph. Baltimore bridge collapse equals 223. Yeah, so Baltimore Bridge Collapse equals 223, guys, the 48th prime. Remember, I told you the mayor of Baltimore, okay, literally the mayor. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. The mayor of Baltimore is born on the eclipse, 48, okay, and his city, the Baltimore Bridge Collapse, well, that happens to equal 223, which is, again, the 48th prime. OK, so can't overlook these 48s. I'm sorry if there's a noise in the background, guys. There's something going on. Of course, when I'm trying to do a live stream, there's a, a, a trash truck right outside. <laughs> can you guys hear that? Uh, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys can hear that loud noise, because I don't know if it's coming through or not. But anyways, Francis Key equals 48. That's a good one. Of course, that's the first and last name of the – well, did you guys notice – did you guys notice that Francis Key equals Donald Trump? <laughs> Look at that. Francis Key equals Donald Trump. Hmm. Well, that one's a little bit interesting. That's in three ciphers, guys. In three ciphers, Francis Key equals Donald Trump. Okay. 
And again, don't forget, this is the 60th election coming up. And Donald Trump equals 60. Francis Key equals 60. Someone saying the stock market is going to crash. Yeah, I believe so. And I think the stock market will crash. <laughs> As a matter of fact, stock market crash equals 185, like Donald John Trump. So is it going to crash under Donald John Trump? Because if you type in his full name, He just happens to equal 185, like stock market crash. See? So, yeah, I already talked about the the Francis Scott key is connected to Pope Francis, who's at the Vatican with the keys on his flag. You know, Pope Francis, uh, the Vatican keys, right? It, it's, too, it's too obvious. So I think it could be connected to Pope Francis, but but let's let's talk about this for a minute. So if we go to yesterday's bridge collapse, okay, on March 26th yesterday, and again if we go from July 4th, the nation's birthday last year, on the 2023 birthday. It was 266 days, right? If you don't add the day, I already talked about the 267. But what about the 266? Okay, well, the 266 is interesting because Pope Francis. Let me, let me pull it up for you guys. 266 Pope. Jorge Mario Bagoglio, Pope Francis is the. 266th Pope. Okay. The bridge. Okay. First of all, he's the first Jesuit Pope. And the Jesuit motto, Isus Hominum. I don't know if I'm spelling this right. I always do horrible at spelling this. Hold on. There it is. Isus hominum salvator is the Jesuit motto. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit pope. Okay. He's the 266 pope. And the Jesuit motto, Isus hominum salvator equals 266. The bridge yesterday fell 266 days after July 4th and 266 days before Pope Francis's birthday. OK, so it's perfectly on either side. OK, and Joseph in the chat is saying if you type in the bridge that fell yesterday, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, if you put the the in there, you get 266. And again, what did I just tell you? Pope Francis is the 266 Pope. The Pope's literally called Francis or the bridge is really has has his name in it and the key, which is the Vatican, okay? And don't forget that pontiff, this is another big one, guys. You can't leave this out. What does pontiff mean? Remember, this is what the Pope is, the pontiff, right? Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so pontiff, which is what they call the Pope, means bridge builder. <laughs> Do you guys understand? The, the word pope comes from pontiff, which means bridge builder. And 266 days before the pontiff's birthday, before the 266 pope's birthday, a bridge falls, and now they have to rebuild it. And that's the pope, right? The bridge builder. So... The 128 code is completely obvious here, but there's no other more obvious code than the Pope code here, the 266 code. So just, yeah, I mean, you cannot overlook this. The bridge builder is the Pope. It's undeniable, just like Joseph just said. So uh, Sean is saying that the 17th prime number is 59. 1759 is the 200 is the 274 
Isus Hominum Salvatore, 274. Yeah. Yep. What is bridge in Latin? Uh, interest. I don't know. Let's look it up. Pontis. So the, the word bridge comes from pons, and that's why the Pope is called the pontiff, right? The bridge builder, okay? Because pontiff is Pope in Latin. So, and again, what are the chances that the Francis Scott Key Bridge equals 266? Just, it's not a coincidence, okay? Now, let's talk about the skull and bones connection here, because I, I really want to hit on this, okay? So Yale, where Skull and Bones is based out of, turned 322 years old on October 9th last year, okay? Remember, two days before that, we had the attack on Israel, okay? But anyway, Yale turned three. Let me just type it in. How old is Yale? Yale is 322 years old. It turned 322 on October 9th, okay? So from October 9th to the bridge collapse is 169 days, okay? Why is 169 important, okay? Because 169 is connected to the United States in the number 13. Uh, isn't there a comet called the Pons Brooks? That's interesting because we just looked up the meaning of of bridge. We just looked up the meaning of bridge. Hold on. Pons. Yeah, guys. Yeah. That Pons Brooks. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys realize we, what I, I don't know if anyone else has discovered this, but the Pons Brooks Comet, the Devil Comet. Pons means bridge, guys. The, the, the Pons Brooks Comet is going to be passing over at the eclipse. Do you guys understand this? Pons means bridge. And I just showed you. And it's, it's the brook. Yeah. The Pons over the brook. The bridge over water. Wow. Wow. Did anyone else show this yet? Yeah, I'll take a breath. Did anyone else see this yet? Or is this is this just an on the stream fine? Because this is insane. I, I just put this together. So this comet that they're saying is coming during the eclipse is literally talking about a bridge over water. I mean, I'm speechless, guys. I'm speechless. This is why this is why they've been talking about this comet and this is why they they collapsed this bridge, guys. It's it's got to be connected. I just told you that the the mayor of the city was born on the eclipse day. And the comet is coming along with the eclipse, okay? In case you guys haven't heard about this, the comet that they keep saying is coming is called the Devil Comet, but the real name of it is called the Pons Brooks, right? And, yeah, and again, what do you what do you get when you type? Let me just show this again so you guys can grasp this. What is the Latin word for bridge, okay? It's Pons. Pons Brook. And again, a brook is a river. We just had the bridge fall in the river. So now they have to rebuild the bridge over the river. And the comet is the devil comet. So Pope Francis, the devil, has to build a bridge over the water. Okay? That's the symbolism here. That's why they call it the devil comet. What's more associated with the devil than this, this, this freaking Vatican, guys? Come on. So, yeah, I'm speechless, amazing, fine, live on air. I hope this gets seen by as many people as my last stream gets seen by because my last stream was nothing compared to this. So hopefully this stream gets blown up as well because this find right here, 
I mean, maybe somebody's already found this, but I can't believe this. So let's get back to Yale. Because Yale, again, had its 322 birthday 169 days before the bridge collapse. Okay. 169 is 13 square, which means 13 times 13. Okay. Remember, remember that the eclipse was 13 days after the bridge collapse. Okay. So the, the eclipse comes 13 days after the bridge collapse. And the bridge collapse comes 13 square after the 322 birthday of Yale. Now, if you go forward from the bridge collapse, 169 days, what day do you think you land on, guys? You land on 9-11 this year, 169 days after the bridge collapse. Again, Yale Skull and Bones, Yale's birthday, 322, 169 days later, you land on the bridge collapse. And 169 days after, you land on 9-11, Skull and Bones, George W. Bush connected to 9-11. Uh, uh, 169 is the 13th square. The United States started out as 13 colonies. Okay. Taylor Swift is all about the 13. Okay. The 13 is the death card in tarot. And the ace of spades card in the playing deck is the, is the, the, the 13th card, the ace of spades. Okay. So this is the 13 connection. Again, 13 days before the eclipse, the 13 square days after Yale, and the 13 square days before 9-11. And um, hold on, guys. I think something equals 169. Key bridge. Um, ah, here it is. Yep. Here it is, guys. Look at this. A lot of the, the news stations were calling it the key bridge collapse, okay? Because it's known as the key. And a lot of news stations were saying it was the key bridge collapse. And look at the number, 169. I just told you this happened 169 days before 9-11 and 169 days after the 302nd birthday, 22nd birthday of Yale, okay? And don't forget, 9-11-2001 happened on 41 date numerology right here okay 41 41 is the 13th prime number again going back to the 13 this all goes back to the 13 guys that's why the united states started out with the 13 colonies 911 happened on 41 date numerology yeah exactly the word key right so the key bridge collapse equals 169 which is 13 square right and if you type in just the word key, it equals 41, which is the 13th prime, and 13, which again is how many days it happened before the eclipse. Yeah, you're right. Key to the bottomless pit, right? And um, yeah, good one, Joseph, because also this happened in Baltimore, right? And Baltimore equals 41. Again, 41 is the 13th prime. And again, why do you think Taylor Swift was all about the 13? Okay. Sorry, guys, my computer does not want to load. If I had a better computer, I could really flow through this stuff, guys, but this computer does not want to work. So, yeah, 41 is the 13th prime number. The word key equals 41, Baltimore equals 41, key equals 13 and 41. So you got two connections to the 13 here. And I want to bring up the satanic cipher and I want to talk about the eclipse codes. A lot of you decoders know in the, in the decoding community, there is an eclipse code called the 1331 code. Okay. But they were calling this the Francis... Scott Key Bridge Collapse. That's that's what a lot of people were calling this. And I want you guys to notice that if actually I think if you go on wiki, this is the actual title of the collapse. Francis Scott Key Bridge Collapse, right? And look what it equals, guys. 1331. 
Remember, 1331 is the eclipse code. So this all goes back to 13 and it's reverse. 13 and it's reverse is 31. Go look up Taylor Swift. Shout out to Jurassic Liars who points this out. Taylor Swift's favorite number is 13, and she was looking forward to turning 31 because that's the reverse of her of, of her lucky number. So 1331 is the eclipse code, right? 1331 is 11 times 11 times 11. Of course, we're talking about 911, right? So again, what are the chances that the full title Francis Scott Key Bridge Collapse equals 1331? And again, I'm thinking about making a whole video about this, this 1331 code um, and its connections, right? Uh, let's see. Casey May is saying the 1331 eclipse was when the sun was in the 13th astrology sign. Taylor Swift's birthday was in the 13th Ophiuchus. Yep. Good point. Good point. Joseph saying that Mahomes went to three and one in Super Bowls. Obama equals 31. Dragon 31. Yep. 1331, guys. Big number. And don't forget, the 1331 is connected to 611. Because the the sixth prime is thirteen, and the eleventh prime is thirty one. So six eleven. Watch out for June eleventh. Okay, just saying. Watch out for June eleventh. So, what else do I want to talk about? Um, again, what are the chances that the mayor is born on the eclipse, guys? And I just told you, we just made a fine live on air. The comet that's going to be going over at the same time is called the Pons Brooks. Let me just let me just type it in here. Hold on. Pons Brooks. Oh, my gosh. Pons Brooks, guys, equals 144, like Jesuit order. Look at that. Jesuit order, Pons Brooks. Again, I just told you we would we just connected the Pons Brooks comet to Pope Francis and the Jesuit order. And Pons Brooks means bridge over a water. Okay. That's literally what it means. Pons Brooks means a bridge over a brook, right? So, and don't forget, the Pope is known as the bridge builder. Okay. That's what pontiff means, bridge builder, okay? Yeah, good point, Joseph. Bridge equals 45, okay? And the name of the comet is Pons Brooks, which equals 45, okay? Oh, man. Let's see what bridge builder equals. Hold on. Okay, bridge builder. <laughs> bridge builder equals 116. Maybe that's why Cody Rhodes is um, in WrestleMania against the Roman Reigns, right? Look at Cody Rhodes equals 116 like bridge builder. Hmm, interesting. Bridge builder. I have to look more into that, but uh, I'm sure there's something there. Yeah, that's another good point. That's another good point by Joseph in the chat. Uh, the broken bridge and the dream, the po um, the painting that was painted by Dolly, which the ship that hit the bridge was the Dolly, right? The name of his or his the poem or the um the painting that he drew was called the Broken Bridge and the Dream, and he did that in 1945. Remember Trump? Trump was the 45th president. That ties to Trump. The the bridge and the dream, right? So there you go. The broken bridge and the dream released in 1945 by Salvador Dali. Remember, 1945 was the year, the last year of World War II. 
it was the year of the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombings. Okay. Casey May says bridge over troubled water equals 116. Hold on a minute. Is that a song, guys? Oh, my gosh. I lost the whole thing here. Hold on. My computer did something weird. Hold on. Is that, is that a song, right? Is, what else do that's on Twitter? Can you guys remind me who does that? Oh, Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, the same people who does uh, Sound of Silence. Hmm. I, I was looking into that song, Sound of Silence, too. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to look into that. But I, I just want to type that in so people can see. Um, give me a second. Let me let me get the calculator back up. Good finds, guys. Thank you guys so much for... Man, thank you. Whoever asked me to look up the word pons in Latin, man, that, that just broke up in a whole can of worms. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs, yep. Simon and Garfunkel, yep. I'm going to look more into that. I thought that was who, who sang that song, Simon and Garfunkel. But I didn't listen to them a lot. The only song I know by them, don't, and, and just remember, that song, Sound of Silence, let's look what that equals. Well, let's, let's, let's look at Bridge Over Troubled Water. Yep, 116, guys, like bridge builder. Again, this is the upside down 911 or the upside down 911 code, 11, 6, 116, like June 11th, right? I'm telling you guys, watch out for June 11th. Remember, C Cody Rhodes' dad died on June 11th, the American dream. And Cody Rhodes equals uh, 116, just like bridge over troubled water. Just like bridge builder. So you got bridge over troubled water. You got Cody Rhodes, whose dad died on June 11th, 116. And you got bridge builder. If I can type today. So I'll just bring up the 116s because this is the number I want to focus on here. So again, Cody Rhodes' dad died on June 11th. Cody Rhodes equals bridge builder and bridge over troubled water, which is essentially what a bridge builder is, right? Build, building a bridge over the water. So yeah, that's that's something I need to look into. Yes, Poseidon equals 119, yep. All right, guys. Well, how, how many minutes am I into this? An hour in, or a little over an hour. Again, I want to thank all of you guys, all the new subscribers. I know a lot of you guys might not be all into numbers, but um, hopefully you guys will stick around. Yeah, uh, Dr. Savage, did you just get in the chat? Because if you did, I think you missed this fine that we just had. Did Dr. Savage just get into the chat? Because what we just found about that comet that's going to that's gonna be coming over the eclipse, in Latin, the name Pons means bridge. The comet that's going to be going over at the same time as the eclipse is called the Pons Brooks. So the comet literally means bridge over a brook, a bridge brook, right? A bridge over water, which is exactly why we were... Um, talking about the bridge builder and the bridge over troubled water, okay? So, yeah, I'm just reiterating that for Dr. Savage because I don't know if he's seen anyone um, talk about that. But, yeah, I mean, there's probably a whole lot more uh, to look at with that, but uh, it's it's super crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, like I said, I got 16K views on last video. I cannot believe I got that many views on a video. Again, thank you to the sound of silence equal 116 too? No way.
equals 161. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Um, everyone go give a sub to Dr. Savage. If, if you guys are in the chat right now and you see Dr. Savage in the chat, I'll have his link. I'll have his link in the at the end of the video in the comments, but go subscribe to him. He was talking about March 26th, just like I was before the day even happened. He was connecting it to the Pope. So he was dead on. I, I saw what he was posting. So I got to give him credit. He was he was looking at that day. Um, and again, I was looking at that day, but exactly a year later. So, but I think I figured there could be a ritual connected this year on 326 because I think next year on 326 could be an actual blackout. So it could come before that, but I'm just saying the girl with the t-shirt, the 1028 days girl, uh, let's find her again. Hold on. Remember the 1028 days girl. She points us to March 26, 2025, which is exactly a year after the bridge collapse, right? So I was looking at this day. I made many videos on March 26, 2025, and Dr. Savage was looking at March 26, 2024. So we were both looking at this day just a year apart, but I believe that it's going to be connected. So, yeah, I'm also looking at May Day. Yep, I'm also looking at May Day. You want to know why May Day is interesting too? May Day, right? Like May Day, but also the next day is The Rock's birthday. And The Rock has just come back and he's in wrestling and he's calling himself the final boss. And a matter of fact, let me show you guys what happened just hours before Cody Rhodes. Let me show you what happened just hours before the bridge collapse in WWE. Let me just show you this. See if I can find the photo. Hold on a second. Uh, bloody. So what happened um, just just hours before the bridge collapsed in WWE was Cody Rhodes was beaten down. Here it is, guys. So The Rock, right? Like The Rock, like Peter, the rock that Jesus built his church on. He destroyed, you guys can see he's all bloody here, right? This is Cody Rhodes. This is The Rock. This is all about the, the Catholic Church, guys. The Rock, the Church, the Pope, right? But you can see what happened to Cody Rhodes just hours before the bridge collapsed. This was like literally three or four hours before the bridge collapsed. And Cody Rhodes got the heck beat out of him. And, um, yeah, so basically The Rock is calling himself the final boss, okay? The final boss, right? And and so what does that mean? And again, The Rock's entrance is now all about lightning. And it, I'm telling you guys, super symbolic, this guy, The Rock. And his birthday is May 2nd, which is, of course, one day after May Day. So I'm watching May 2nd. I'm also watching May Day, right? Yeah, his grandfather was Peter Maivia, right? Like Peter in the Bible, right? Yeah. And Joseph, I did not mention the 1028 connection. Let's go back and cover the 1028s one last time. Remember, the girl with the 1028 on her shirt. Well, first of all, let's cover all the 1028s. You had the girl with the 1028 on her shirt. You had Matthew Perry, who died on 1028. You have Bill Gates, who's born on 1028. You have Nancy Pelosi, her birthday yesterday. On the bridge collapse, Nancy Pelosi, her husband, P Paul Pelosi, was beat up with a hammer on 1028 in 2022. And of course, the North Tower in 9-11 fell at 1028. Okay, so all these 1028s. And then yesterday at 1028 Pacific time, the bridge collapsed, which was also 128 Eastern time. 
Okay, so 1028, 1028 days from the, the girl with the 1028 is March 26th, which is the same day that the bridge collapsed, but just a year later, okay? And don't forget, and leave the world behind. I forgot to mention this, and leave the world behind, which was all about the 128 code. Julia Roberts, who dated Matthew Perry, Julia Roberts, she's born on 1028, right? And what are the chances that her birthday, let me just pull it up so you can see her birthday here. Her birthday is October 28th. She stars in Leave the World Behind with Matthew Perry, who dies on October 28th. And again, I just showed you all the 1028 code and how it's connected. And then, of course, she stars in this movie, which is all about the white lion. Okay. And the 128 code is the power grid. So yeah, uh, I just I forgot to put that in here, but uh, there's there's a lot to this 1028 code. Absolutely. The Gateway Arch, yeah, thank you, Sean. The Gateway Arch opened on 1028 too. Yep, I forgot about that one. In St. Louis, remember the eclipse is going to be going over that area of the Gateway Arch. So that's interesting. The Gateway Arch was opened on 1028. Good one. Elvis took the needle. Yep, Elvis was the first person ever to take the needle on live television on the Ed Sullivan Show on October 28, 1956. Yep, that's another big 1028 connection. Uh, Phoenix in the chat is saying the girl with the shirt posted the that the 1028 message 663 days ago. 1028 days total from today is 365 days from today. Yeah, yep. It's exactly a year from now is when the shirt leads to. Yep. There's another good one in the chat. Eric C. says that Marty McFly in Back to the Future, he wakes up at 1028. Let's see if I can find a picture of that. Hold on. Marty McFly 1028. I don't know if that'll come up. Maybe it will come up. I mean, there's been so many people that have decoded the this movie. So, yep, right here it is. Marty McFly wakes up with the clock at 1028. There it is again. So... There's another one for you. So the Gateway Arch built on 1028. Elvis takes the needle on live television on 1028. Bill Gates born on 1028. Julia Roberts starred and leave the world behind born on 1028. Matthew Perry dies on 1028. Yep, all the 128 code. Uh, Sean is saying in the chat that um, 1028 p.m. leaves 1.533 hours left in the day. The Golden Gate Bridge construction started on 1533. Wow. Amazing, Sean. If you guys didn't go check out Sean's video, Sean just released a video. So again, guys, at the end of this video, go in my comments section and subscribe to all these channels I have in there. Okay. Sean just made a video. Go subscribe to Dr. Savage. Go subscribe to Joseph Aquaviva. Go subscribe to Donut, who helped me out yesterday. Um, go subscribe to all the people I have in my in my comments. Okay. And thank you guys for all the new subscriptions. And if you guys would please hit the like button, that helps support the channel. Um, I would greatly appreciate if you guys hit the like button and get my likes up to over 200 we're almost to 200 so if we could get to 200 that would be amazing so is there anything else that anyone wants to share before i get off here um also i got to do my my shameless plug if anyone wants to support the channel besides liking you can also go to the link at the top of this chat there's a link at the top of this chat that says Decoding with Cody, buy me a coffee. 
um, please, uh, please use that link. Do not donate to YouTube, okay? So in case you guys want to use that link, YouTube does, takes half anyway. So it's better to go here. I've been a little bit slacking on posting stuff here because my supporters haven't really grown, so I haven't really posted much. But um, this is where you can support the channel right here for all the new subscribers. So, anyone else got anything? Someone's saying the New York City blackout equals 74. Interesting. Yeah, we just talked about the Devil's Comet. I don't know if you guys um, saw that. But if you, did, if you missed that, go back. Yeah, we really need to go over that devil's comment in its own video, I think. I'm going to look more into that sp specifically. All right, guys. Well, I think we'll wrap it up. Big takeaways from this video, the 1028 code, the blackout code, all tied with the 128 and the bridge collapse, okay? So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end it there. And thank you guys once again to all the new subscribers. Thank you to the, the longtime subscribers. And thank you guys for all the additional finds in this stream. And as always, take care out there, guys. God bless you all. Thank you guys so much for coming. And um, let's just keep let's keep tearing this, this these rituals apart. Okay. We're, we're doing a good job, this this community. So let's tear it, let's keep tearing it apart out there. Anyways, take care. I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, God bless. Much love.